okay guys so welcome to the next video and this video is purely a showcase so i'll showcase what i've been working on basically i i tried to make a first person first person controller which i could use to my future in my future games and especially in one game that my dream game about um walking simulator so i I'd love to make a walking simulator and I tried to make uh, mm, a, a controller which is uh, I don't know like the best one the most uh, smooth one and not the ones that look so jerky in in like in other tutorials because uh, on the internet they teach you how to make first person controller but they don't show you how to make it good they just show you the basic and this one is uh, way more advanced than the others uh, so i'll show you guys what i mean so basically first i'll show you what they show you on the other tutorials so basically uh, you have this uh, camera which is very uh, not smooth, I don't know how to say it, very jerky, I think. And also you have this movement, which is also very, I don't know, robotic. It, it feels not natural, it feels very weird because it, it stops immediately. There's no smoothing whatsoever. And also uh, zooming, uh, there's not, there's no smoothing also, you just zoom in. And when you, for example, want to crouch, you also crouch immediately without any smoothing. And uh, when changing speed, so if I click shift now, you can see that it changes uh, very fastly. So it changes immediately. And okay, jumping, uh, there's nothing to, to jump. Jumping is good. So uh, I just wanted to show that also. And now let's see the the one the control that I made. So here is the prototype that I did. So basically, I had this uh, properties I could do smoothing on. So if I enable smoothing on this one, and also the, and this on this one, it would be a lot much better. So you have this smooth camera. Also, you have this smooth movement. So it goes and. Uh, it just basically smooth everything. Also, you have this smooth transition to running and uh, also to the crouching. So this is very nice. And I just want to show one thing. Uh, if you keep pressing A and D on, on the key keyboard very fastly, you can see, no, typically it will be very laggy. Like it, you would look that it was it would be jerky but now if i click left and right all the time as you can hear i think uh, you can see that uh, this moves out everything and also we have a head bob uh, as you can see it uh, i will run towards the the wall so you can see it, it you can see that when i'm running it uh, head bobs faster but when i'm walking it head bobs lower so it's also a nice thing and and you have a camera briefing so you can see that the camera is actually uh, idling. So you have this very subtle effect uh, of your camera, which is breathing. So I will leave the point in this center and I will try to keep it at the center. And now I leave it off and you can see that it's moving very subtle and you can all adjust it later. So I'll show you guys now. So uh, let's disable the smoothing. And I just want to show you what I mean about uh, AD, AD, AD. So if you go here, you click AD, 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 AD you can see that uh, it's not good. And also, uh, I made uh, a check which enables you only to run uh, forward, like, uh, and a bit to, to some angles, but you cannot run uh, backwards. So you can see that here, if I click, you can run forward, but if I move back and I click shift I can't run and I can run only forward and a, a little bit to the right so this is the prototype I did and now I mm, I raise it to another level so basically let me enable this 
and I made a totally new project uh, with only the camera no with only the first person controller and here it is so basically I not this here it is it's the let me hide for builder for a bit uh, it's the same setup, you have the same scene, but a lot more nicely organized because uh, now I know what I'm doing. Here is the script and you can see that we have a custom component on the right here. And it's very nice, nicely organized. You have all subcategories and each one I think it's self uh, explanatory. I don't know how to say it. Uh, and you can adjust all kind of stuff so here you have the locomotion settings here you have the crouch uh, transition curve and this is very interesting because uh, i use a lot of curves to make everything more smooth so it will use this curve to make our player crouch so for example if i use this one uh, it would look very weird because he would go to the crouch but then he would come back but uh, we can check it out if you want. So let's let's check it. So I click control. Yeah, it go go up and it go down again. So it's very weird. So that's why you have to pick the, the right one, which I, I chose this one. But you can like choose the other and or make your own one. So this one will make it go very fast to the crouch and this one will go with, will make it go very slow. So as you can see here yeah so yeah this is very very nice at least for me i'm quite uh, excited so uh, let's see what this project uh, dif differs from the previous one so you have uh, everything the same you have the move camera you have the idle briefing as you can see it moves subtly and you also have this smooth movement, so you can run. It changes uh, smoothly from one speed to other speed. Also, you can crouch and you can move. During the crouch, the, the head bobbing is adjusting to corresponding state. So if you are on crouching, you, ha you have different uh, amplitude and frequency. And there, there is some mistakes because uh, I still haven't fixed all of them but uh, I'm still working on it, but it's it's on a good way. And also, this is a cool thing. Uh, you can walk on slopes. Uh, it's a typical one, but I had a lot of trouble with it. So it moved uh, correctly on the slopes and you can jump also. But the cool thing is that if you jump, you can see that it has a land animation. So if I jump, it will move a bit down and then it will move up. I don't know if you could see it uh, and you have two different states you can have this small uh, landing which will make it go a little bit down but also you can have the big one so if i climb the stairs and now if i jump down uh, backwards let's see you can see that it moves uh, like it landed very heavily so uh, your head moves a lot down i don't know if you can see it but i hope you can and it's very cool thing. Oh, I think I thought, I think you could see it now. And it's very nice thing. And also you have this nice zooming, which is also smooth. And uh, I think uh, that is it for for my controller, guys. It. I think it's very nice, and I will still be working on it. I will try to add some like interactions so you can interact with the doors. But you can use this uh, controller in all of like all kind of games, mostly in, I don't know, horror games, like Layers of Fears and Walking Simulators. But I think that uh, if you adjusted few properties, uh, you could also make it uh, in, I don't know, first person shooter. So here I have uh, the scriptable objects that I use. So here's the, the briefing, uh, my, my briefing. So if I, I will not zoom it, I will make it uh, I don't know, I will make it bigger so you can see it guys, basically. And we can like see it, how it affects our player. 
So here I have very small number because the briefing is subtle, but I will increase it. So if I have the amplitude of 10, you can see that it affects it very much and frequency is just a speed of uh, moving and it's very smooth because we are using the parallel noise. And I will leave it back to the default setting that I had and you have also uh, different uh, scriptable objects. For example, I have a scriptable object for head bob data. So here is for example the amplitude for uh, X bobbing. So it goes from left to right and uh, Y is up and down. And if I increase it to, I don't know, this will be five and this will be two. You can see that, uh, yeah, uh, it moves something like this and you can adjust everything. So it's pretty cool. You have also the multiplier for the run state and for the crouch state. And frequency is just a speed. So I'll leave it uh, again at uh, the default that I had. And there's also a lot of others, uh, other cool stuff. So I don't know guys, I, I just wanted to showcase this and Mm, yeah, uh, just let me know in the comments what would you, what would you uh, recommend me to do next uh, or what to fix or what to add and I'll try to do it. And also if you want to see a tutorial uh, from this, uh, so I will try to make it because like this stuff is uh, very long. So I, I, I should like I would make a I don't know how many uh, how many parts, but a lot. So, also this like custom editor is very cool stuff. You, it's very nice and tidy, and uh, and it helps helps me a lot. So I could also show you how to do it. So here is, for example, the script of the first person controller. So you have, uh, here is the script and uh, like, like it, it is made of a lot of stuff. So I have regions for everything. So I have regions for variables and I also have uh, methods that also are in the regions. And like everything is not, uh, very nicely organized because I tried to make everything uh, organized so you have sub regions and sub regions has like mm, sub methods etc but uh, it's very complicated and uh, i don't know guys just let me know in the comments uh, what would you like to see and uh, i'll try to do it so thank you guys for watching and yeah uh, have a nice day bye